Good morning guys, we are in Prague. It is like 5.30 in the morning and we're headed to Rome today. And we're also getting on a plane for the first time in like two months. We're breaking our rules and taking an Uber this morning. And the reason we're doing that is because public transit from where we're staying, about 20 minutes north of the city center of Prague, was gonna take us at minimum an hour and five minutes and at most an hour and 35 minutes. And we can't miss this flight today because we got some really special people that we're seeing tomorrow. I can't wait, oh my God. Um, but also, we just, <laughs> we don't wanna spend an hour and 15 minutes on public transit. This is by far one of the most hilarious things that has happened to us. Uh, in order to save like eight bucks. I can't see you at all. Thank you very much. I think the most exciting part about today is that we are going from Schengen to Schengen. So not only do we already have our boarding passes. We should be able to go right to security, right? Yep, straight to security. And also we don't have to go through passport control. This is gonna be the dream. It's gonna be so easy. I do double in terminal one when you didn't know. Because it didn't show it on our boarding passes what terminal it was. So I Googled last night and I was like, which terminal at Prague Airport is the Ryanair terminal? And it said Terminal 1 is where all Ryanair flights fly out of. So I was like, perfect. That's all I need to know. We put way too much faith in the internet. Turns out, we're Terminal 2 today. At least they're connected. Yeah. All right, security and bag check time. Easy breezy. Beautiful security. Huh. The Terminal 1 that we thought we were gonna be in has a lounge, but thankfully, there's a lounge in here too. Please have coffee, please have coffee, please have coffee. If they don't have coffee, I'm reporting this lounge. This is nice. If you remember the last time we were in an airport it was in Sofia and we had to wait eight hours outside of the terminal. I was really looking forward to sitting in the lounge. Because we were crossing the Schengen borders, we couldn't get through security until two hours before our flight. This is a little bit different. We're able to sit in the lounge and get some coffee. Got a cappuccino. This is amazing. This is a nice lounge. It's nicer than a lot of the ones that we've been to. Oh, should we get my bags? Oh, thank you. She's always on it. All right. Let's make our way to the gate. What's that one song? It's from a movie. And it's like, on a van in a roll. I have no idea what you're talking about. I think it's from a Lizzie McGuire movie. Nice. Let's go! Wee! It's extraordinary how much heavier your pack is than mine. It's insane. Girl, what you got up in your bag? It is crazy. In a few weeks, my bag will be a little bit lighter because we're going to surprise Trey's mom. I think we caught her off guard. <laughs> we just booked the flight like a few days ago and she has no idea. Oh, I'm so excited. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the airport bus. Thank you for using the services of Botslav Hondo Airport. I had no other choice. That's our place. This kind of feels like a tease because we're so excited to see Justin and Giovanna. <laughs> And we're so excited to be in Rome, but it feels like it doesn't start until tomorrow. Yeah, like, we officially. yeah we're staying at an Airbnb in Fiumicino. Fium, Fiumicino. So we're staying in an Airbnb right near the airport tonight, and then meeting Justin and Giovanna at the airport tomorrow morning. Can't wait. But for tonight, for tonight, for tonight. But for now, we've got to get to Rome. We shall be taking good care of it during this flight, but before departure, we can ask you to give us your full attention while you point out some of the safety features. Now for the segment of what is getting us through the flight. Hannah is editing. And I'm watching the Redeem Team. It's a documentary on Netflix that just came out. It's got a whole bunch of NBA athletes from uh, the US national team for the Olympics for 2004, I think. So there's a heavy dose of Kobe Bryant, so try not to cry.
one good thing about this flight is that it's only an hour and a half, right, to Rome. And something that Hannah doesn't realize yet is that we're flying over the Alps right now. So there's mountains out there. ultra veggie type pizzas that I'm not gonna want and then she's gonna pick at my pasta that's what's gonna happen it happens every time when you open the locker compartment please be careful because item during landing may have dislodged fall down and cause injuries you may now use your mobile phones on the bay of the bus and special crew on board we would like to thank you for flying with us and wish you a nice afternoon oh I am severely overdressed for this weather holy smokes It's a good 20 degree difference between Prague and Rome. It is not cold here. Now we gotta find the exit and then figure out how to get to our Airbnb. We're gonna find a way to get there via public transit and figure it out. We're not staying too far away from the airport so it can't be that hard. This is crazy. How did this happen? I don't know. I think this was a poor decision. Our Google Maps isn't working for us and we're trying to find where the bus station is. So we're following signs, but we've been walking now for a while and we don't really know if we're going the right way. What's confusing is none of these look like city buses. They all look kind of like tour buses and there's like advertisements on the sides of them, which makes me think that it's not like the local bus that we are looking for. We need to figure out how to get across the street to the actual bus station, which has the local bus that we need to take to our Airbnb. I'm gonna title this video, How to Get to the Local Bus Stop, because this whole thing has been so goofy. Our Google Maps has been messing up this entire time. If you're looking for the bus, we're about to show you how to get there. All right, I'll take your bag. Your bag's much heavier than mine. Well guys, this is what we get for taking an Uber this morning. We t opted for the easy way out and now we are walking to the Airbnb because whatever we were just at is not a bus stop. There were like three different buses that drove right by us and looked at us like we were crazy. Apparently there's a first bus stop on the third floor of the terminal. Which is a big bummer. Nothing like crossing four lanes of traffic to give you that adrenaline rush you need. Woo, woo. I'm trying to make light of the situation because you know, there's nothing else we can do. This really isn't ideal. One of these days we're gonna look back on this and we're gonna laugh, but it's not this day. <laughs> Poor Trey is definitely not laughing about this right now, but I kind of am. <laughs> this is by far one of the most hilarious things that has happened to us. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> One of my favorite things about travel days like this though is Trey and I literally just talk about all the things that we're gonna do when we get there. We just went through our whole list. A cold shower, a glass of wine, pizza. We have it all game planned out for what our night is gonna be and it's only one o'clock. Okay. Just take us to a sidewalk. Oh, okay. Yeah, basically, yeah. Thank you so much. I know, man. Is this okay for you? Yeah, yeah this is perfect. perfect, man. Have a great day. Thanks so much again, brother. Thank you. All right. That was that was a game changer. That was a game changer. Guy, I didn't even get his name. Whoever you are, brother, thank you so much. He was like, yeah, I saw you. I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> I was like, I don't blame you, dude. He was like, you can't walk through there. He's like, it's so dangerous. What a journey. What a journey. Hello. Hello, how are you? 
Good morning, guys. It's the next day after our wild adventure to get to Rome. We are gonna wrap this vlog up by meeting some very special people back at the airport where we just came from, but this time we're gonna get there a little more efficiently. Oh, oh, I got it. Sorry, it's a little heavy. I got it. Thank you so okay. much for everything. Having a tour. Good luck for you. Such a great stay. Okay. Thank you so much. If you've been following along on our channel for a little while, then you might have caught our Chicago to Madrid flight vlog from like three or four months ago. And that was the last time that we saw Justin Giovanni. So we're gonna have four days or four nights in Rome. Okay. <laughs> this is the classic test. It's gonna be incredible. Oh, I can't wait to see them. They're gonna come out of there and we're stalking them until they do. They're just looking just a couple of too cute. <laughs> Good. How was your travels? It's good. Stressful? Long? I, I mean, we slept like the whole time, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> we're good. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in Rome. Why does it smell like onions out here? The everyone passing me right now watching me vlog this is like, what in the world is she doing? No one knows. Certainly not me.